Hey, what's up guys? So today we have a fairly requested video on what to do when you turn 18. So we're gonna dive right into tips on what should you guys do when you guys are teenagers and you guys wanna start adulting. And keep in mind guys, these are things that I apply myself and these are things that I've researched. Uh, countless hours of watching YouTube videos, reading articles, and now I'm gonna share it with you guys. It's all for you guys, so you guys don't have to do what I did, you know. Sometimes you even have to read and watch boring videos. You guys don't want to waste time watching boring videos. <laughs> like mine. Uh. Anyways, if you guys want to be financially responsible individuals, this is the right video for you guys because these tips will give you a head start above everyone else, above all your peers, above all your classmates. Let's cut the small talk and get right into it. Before I start the video, it is too hot in my room right now. I'm gonna have to take this hoodie off. Sheesh. Let's get into the first tip that's gonna get you guys ahead of your peers. The first tip that I have for you guys is to open a credit card. Go do it as soon as you turn 18. Like, skip, skip all that gifts and like parties. Like, instead of posting on Instagram, it's your birthday, when you turn 18, go apply for a credit card at like 12 a.m. Like, that's the like logical thing to do. Like, why would you waste time on posting about your birthday when people really don't care if it's your birthday? Like, it's not gonna make you money. Like, go apply for a credit card. A credit card that I suggest for you guys is the Discover It card. There's gonna be an option to get a secured credit card where you deposit uh, a certain amount with a minimum of 200. Um, so they'll give you the credit uh, equal to the amount you deposit. So Discover it is a great place to start. Uh, there's a lot of cashbacks involved. I know that growing up uh, throughout high school, I always asked teachers importance of credit and things like that. I remember I asked my algebra teacher how credit works and one of the things that she told me was literally that she doesn't even have a credit card. Like she only uses debit and that credit will never be used. Like she'll never hold a credit card. And looking back, like that is like no offense, but why she is making the salary that she is making. She seems happy, but for you guys who wanna be financially ahead and you guys wanna be millionaires, billionaires, as soon as you turn 18, Bruh. dude, you serious? As soon as you turn 18, apply for a credit card. All you have to do is spend a little bit on the card every month, swipe it a few times, put like 20, 30, $40 on it and pay it off on time in full every month to build your credit. If you guys want more videos on credit cards, make sure to click the link up here. The next tip I have for you guys is gonna be open your own bank account. If you guys don't have one already at the age of 18, definitely go open your own. So the importance of this is having your own bank account where you can control your money going in and out. I, rem I remember when I was like 15 and I wanted to make money because you had to transfer money somewhere to get a referral or like a deposit bonus. And I remember being like, I literally can't make money just because I don't have a bank account. Like, so guys, if you guys don't already have one, definitely go open a bank account because a simple thing as being able to transfer money and sending money to make money these little things will add up to you missing out on opportunities to profit. The next tip is for everyone who needs to hear this, this might not be for you, but go get a driver's license. Go get a permit first and then find a friend or your dad, your mom, um, to teach you how to drive and get your driver's license. Why am I rushing you guys to get your license? Well, because I found out in America you have to have insurance to drive a car. So how insurance works is you pay monthly to yearly installments to have your car insured in case of damage or an accident. Now, insurance is a lot cheaper when you've had your license for a longer period of time without incidents and accidents happening. So let's say that you get your license as soon as possible. You hold it, you, you don't even have a car to drive, you just have your license, right? You hold it until you're like 20, 21, 22, 23, 
and then you decide to get a car because you know you're doing well for yourself now you want a car your insurance is going to be so much cheaper because you've had a license for so long instead of getting a license when you decide to get a car be prepared so you can save money you guys can thank me later the next step that's going to get you guys ahead of everyone and being financially independent people is opening a Roth IRA. I say this in all of my money and investing videos, but Roth IRA is important at a young age because we're in a lower tax bracket. Um, maybe, I don't know if you're a millionaire at 18 or not, um, but if you're like me, uh, I don't make that much money at 18, so I'm definitely in like a low tax bracket. So you'll be able to contribute a good amount into the account. Um, there is limits every year. You can't just contribute a million dollars. There's, I think it's about $5,500 a year that you could contribute to your Roth IRA. And it's basically you depositing post tax money into the account and it's going to grow. And then when you retire, uh, you can withdraw the money tax free, um, including all the profits you made in there. Um, the most important thing to take from this is that this is a long-term compound interest uh, style of investing your money. It is important to start at youngest as you possibly can, um, ideally at 18, because statistically speaking, if you invest $5,500 every year from the moment you open a Roth IRA at 18 to when you retire, you're guaranteed to be a millionaire. That's a bold statement. Someone fact check me because I feel like that's that's right. But then again, it's a bold statement. Millionaire. Retirement. Let's go. Peace. All right. The next tip I have for you guys is living below your means. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. I already know it. Stop spending money to show off to people who don't give a shit about you. Like, mate, they don't give a crocodile's ass about you, mate. Like, you buying them Gucci shoes is not going to make them love you for the rest of your life. I mean, live below your means because when you're that person who never saves money and you just spend whatever you make, you're going to be also that friend who works every single day just so they have money to spend and they keep working and you keep working and you keep working and you don't have any money saved and you just have to keep working and you have to pay your eventually you have to pay for things that you're independent for so like rent food eventually you're gonna have to pay for car loans and stuff like that like things will start to slowly add up when you don't save money and you just keep spending and working like your expenses might catch up a lot faster than the amount of money you might make. Something that I've learned is that when I make money, I put it aside because no matter how much money I make, I always spend way less than I make because I know that anything can happen. Um, as you can see, there's like a whole apocalypse happening right now. So you don't want to be that friend where it, all your friends are vacationing, uh, sipping cocktails in Bali and Hawaii and you're working your job just so you can uh, go out to eat with them when they come back. You don't want you don't want to be that friend who just keeps working and uh, is known as a hard worker but is not getting anywhere in life. This is when they say work smarter not harder. Um, one tip that's gonna be so controversial I'm afraid to say it but I really am not afraid to say it is reconsider going to college. Parents, please do not hate me for this. I am not trying to tell your child to drop out of college or not go to college. Actually, that's exactly what I'm doing. Guys, we have to stop this pandemic. And no, I'm not talking about the one outside. I'm talking about college debt. The idea of going to college equals making more money. If you wanna be a doctor, a lawyer, a engineer, that path that you choose is your choosing and that is why you will be successful in that path. But the, for the people who are going to college to play safe 
as a backup, that it's gonna be bad for you guys. It's gonna be hard for you guys when you get out. And for everyone who's going to college undecided, I'm sorry guys, you guys are gonna waste a few bucks. Like, I don't know how much, but you're gonna waste some type of money. Like, but there's hope. There's hope, guys. In my experience in talking to people who are in college, out of college, and who didn't go to college, a theme came up between all of them, and it was to be sure of what you want to do because you don't want to go to college and be $30,000 in debt after you get out with no guaranteed job with a piece of paper that you hope to show your employer. I want to tell you guys, you guys hear it here first, that I believe in you guys, that you guys have the potential and the full capability of being successful without a college degree. If you guys disagree, um, I'm sorry. All right. Um, the next tip I have for you guys, and it's going to be a very s simple but very deep tip. Pause. The next, the tip, Bruh. the next tip that I'm going to talk about is getting a job. Get a freaking job, dude. Like, you need it now. All right, I'm serious, though. Uh, hopefully, when the economy gets back to normal, I want you guys to consider a job, a part-time job. Um, a part-time job can go a long way. When I tell you that it goes a long way, I mean it. Because when I was 15, I worked at an ice cream shop um, the summer after my sophomore year in high school. Um, my friend hooked me up with a job. Uh, shout out to Cindy. Um, I owe her. I owe her a lot for starting my uh, working uh, my working career. Learning how to how to work for my own money and not use my parents' money for once was eye opening. The fact that you as a person understand how money is made by other people and by yourself and how hard some people have to work for eight dollars an hour you have a respect for money that you did not have before if you're a person who's going to college with never without ever working a job ever and you guys see that thirty thousand dollars can be paid off theoretically if you get a job after college then you guys don't understand the debt that you guys are getting in having a job teaches you customer service it teaches you how to handle your money it teaches you how to save your money it allows you to meet people that you would have never have met if you never worked a job and you build connections through jobs you work the next and final tip that i've researched countlessly when i turned 18 was what's invest in invest in long-term stocks etfs bonds and mutual funds these things will make you money in the long term these are investments that you don't have to be emotional about you don't have to check every single day you don't have to check even every single week or month like these are the things that will you can hold for years and know that it, it's it's a good investment like it's a safe investment low fee mutual funds such as the VTI, VTSACs, Vanguards, ETFs. It might make you guys feel a little cool to be an investor. Who knows, like you are doing something financially responsible and smart while also building your confidence in the business world. Like you're, you're on top of your game, like you're investing, you're saving your money. If you guys follow all of these things, you guys are gonna be way ahead of a lot of people. If you guys want to get two free stocks with Weeble valued up to $1,000, click the link below and you deposit $100 and you get two free stocks. Um, I get two free stocks, um, so you'll be helping this channel grow. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Make sure to smash and destroy the like button if you guys learn something new here. If you guys want to follow my journey and use these tips just as I am doing to be a financially independent and financially responsible person. Thank you guys, thank you guys for the support. I am so excited about what the future holds for all of us. We recently hit 100 subscribers on this channel. Thank you for the support guys. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.
Ah!